Hello guys, today we're gonna talk about the ATS harness for Freiliners between years 2010 through 2015 and as you can see this is one piece harness in older designs it used to be three pieces and I'm gonna show you right now which are each piece all right so let's start with this the one that goes to the ACM you can see this is the 120 pins okay this is the one that carries the signals through all the sensors related to the ATS and this one the 21 is the one that car carries power you know and ground just to uh, power up the ACM okay this part in here is the first part of the harness that you need to take a look every time you're gonna check the harness okay if you have any problem related to open circuits and things like that usually you start from here okay and uh, the dealer you know he they always check they open this part and they start looking through all these sensors around here so that way they can be sure the which one is the open circuit and the problem is to find that where is it so if we follow and you see these all are together all these wires in here the tape back in 2000 i believe uh 2010 when they start doing this harness they used to just cover wrap up with a plastic cover and just a few parts of the harness have like a tape around but this one's just completely covered with uh, this this is a really special tape as you can see this is the electrical tape but this tape in here is really special for the harness this one uh, it can resist water and other things but uh, the problem is when you need to check the harness and I'm gonna show you later in the video uh, we have problems because you have to rip it off and if you are not careful you can cut the wires inside so now let's follow the harness okay all these you see here and the first thing we're gonna find the harness you wanna let's take a closer look you see we follow the stream this is like the guts of the need of the truck hey guys and this you know this line here that we follow you can see we find the pressure limiting valve you know this is the one that controls the uh, how much air is going to the DEF pump and to the mirroring unit the DEF mirroring unit okay and this is the inlet and here this is the outlet all right guys and if you pay a close attention in here you see this one has oil inside all right and this means that probably you need to replace the air compressor and or you need to replace the air filter cartridge that goes uh, you know in the hub and the dryer hub so pay attention to this okay if you have any open circuit related to this you see it has only two wires because the only job this thing has is to open and close the valve i think uh, this limiting valve is already regulated the computer has to do nothing just to open and close and it only has two wires and if you have an open circuit it's uh, simple to check it you see and, uh, if you have a, a high or low circuit problem short you can just check in here inside if there is like greeny it's like green stuff in there it means like probably it has a wiring intrusion and you might need to replace it so let's follow the next string in here we're gonna take uh, we're gonna follow the thick one at the at the end let's follow this one <laughs> as you can see this 
wire is really long and you know something uh, in the older designs since it used to be three pieces okay this piece that you see in here okay let me a minute okay that piece alone eh, with this part in here i believe okay it, it was one harness okay the next harness was uh that part over there so there were one piece for this another piece for this and this the 120 pin used to be the other piece and it has three connections all right so if we follow this one in here okay i mean you guys okay we're gonna find this that you see in here and it's quite interesting because this one as you can see has that, that green stuff that uh it means there is wire intrusion on it or probably the def pump is having problems now this is for the def pump all right this means probably this person has to replace the def, DEF pump really soon Wait a minute. so you can see okay the next one we're gonna check in here are these two. Oh, my bad guys so this is the one for the def pump okay and this one in here is the one for the for the coolant heater valve these two these two connections that you see in here goes on the top of the tank all right and the one you see in here is for the def temperature sensor inside the tank and the other one is for the um let me see the other one is to uh for the quality sensor i believe i'm not sure about that one let me remember guys uh this one used to be for yeah i'm pretty sure the def temperature sensor oh and the leveling unit yeah that's what it is that's what it, these two are for all right um uh, this one we already talked about it and these four connections that you see in here four of them are for the uh electrical heater lines for the def the blue lines that you can see that goes around the ACR box or behind you know next to the def pump so these connections are the one responsible to heat up the lines when the temperatures drop below i believe uh uh i'm not sure but it's uh, at least minus 20 fahrenheit all right so these four connections are for that and in those uh old freeliners the one that has the big uh def pump uh usually when you have like a for example check engine light on and they say they open circuit on the heater lines it means one of this usually one of these connections is uh it's uh broken because it's shafting against the cover of the def pump so if you have that kind of issue it's easy to fix uh i hope that helps guys so let's continue checking the next part of this join here and this connection that you see in here okay is the one that brings the power from the truck okay and uh, i believe they, they are i believe these are the ones the two lines that carries the signals and data for between the uh, uh mcm and the acm and these two thick wires that you see in there okay those are the ones that carries power and ground directly to the ACM. The other connect, the other wire that you see in here, probably is the one that carries signals to the uh, MCM. So now let's follow the thick part of the harness again, and you see. There is a good reason why this part is like this, guys, because this is the part that is close to the DP, to the SCR box, okay? And as you can see, 
these two harness that you see in here, these two pieces, okay? There are two designs, no, there are one design that needs this kind. And that's the one that has the little box on the top of the SCR box. There is another design in later models. They just have like a twist to connect, but that design is different because it doesn't require the box anymore. All right, all the sensors are outside, okay? All the connections go outside, but this one has the box. And one is for the, one of these is for the inlet knock sensor, and the other one is for the outlet knock sensor. That's the way I differentiate, I differentiate them, all right? So the good thing is like uh, in this design, uh, usually this part of the harness never gets, gets messed up unless there is a lot of uh, exhaust leak from the DPF filters so that might damage the harness but as far as I know that never happens uh, so this too is just for temperature sensors uh, pressure sensors related to the filters and uh, knock sensors okay so the next part you see, I already opened it in here. And you see what I'm talking about since they use that tape, okay? Once you rip the tape apart, you can see you can damage the harness. So you planning to fix it, you really have to be careful with your blade, okay? And all right, you can see all these, you see in here belongs to the mirroring unit, okay? And there are different um, sensors in here. Just give me a minute so I can uh, remember all of them because it's really hard for me to remember all for this harness, guys. And the one you see in here, it's for the DEF mirroring unit temperature sensor. Okay, this is the one. The next one, no, this is the different DEF mirroring unit pressure sensor. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm just trying to read it. Uh, it. That's the reason why it has three wires. Okay. The next one you see in here is the DEF mirroring unit temperature sensor. This one is the this one is the DEF unit heater. <laughs> oh man. There are so many, this is the one, okay? And the next one is the, the next one here, sorry guys, is the DEF unit air pressure sensor. And these two in here are for the heater. I don't know why it needs a heater, but okay. And this is for the nozzle, basically. This is the one that opens and close and emits dosage. Uh, so they can make the mix with the air so okay now that I explain more or less how all this harness works because as you can see huh, guys there are so many parts on this harness the nowadays and the newer and the newer cascadias they change all this this harness is no more on those uh, this harness is no more like this they already change it and what I'm trying to say is like, the problem I see with this harness is like, they make a one piece harness now, okay? This is the harness you probably gonna get if you're trying to replace the ATS harness for any truck from 2010 through 2015. And the problem is that as I told you is like, if you want to fix it, it's really hard because you have to be careful with your blades secondly uh if there is something wrong with the harness you have to replace the whole assembly there's no way you can get one part and another one no it's not like that anymore and thirdly uh i hope in the new west cascadia this won't be that much a problem to replace the harness but i don't know about that i will i will do another video in the future talking about that harness if i had the chance to replace it so this is what i have for you guys today uh thanks for watching the video 
uh, let me know if you have any question related to this harness and I'm gonna try to make more videos soon because I'm being busy at work you know how this this uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye